Hi, I'm Kevin America, and today we're going to talk about verb tenses. In fact, this is going to be a verb tense overview. Okay, so we're not going to learn any verb tenses in this lesson. We're just going to talk about what is it and what are all the different verb tenses. A verb tense tells us when something happens or is happening or happened, or is going to have happened. You see? Verb tenses can get a little confusing, but don't worry about it. They're actually kind of fun, okay? Now, this is an overview, so we're not going to learn how to use these verb tenses. That's going to be for a later lesson. But right now, we're just going to look at what are all of the verb tenses, okay? So, I love to use the verb dance. Because dance is fun, right? Dancing makes you want to have fun. So let's think of dancing in three different ways. Actually, we're going to think of it in three different times. We've got the past tense. Past tense. We've got the present tense. And, of course, we've got the future tense. Okay, now these are the three basic times in which things can happen, okay? But that doesn't necessarily tell us when something happens. That's what all the different tenses are for. Now, within this past, present, future, we actually have four different ways to explain it, which is a little different. We're going to start with the simplest one. In fact, it's called simple. How easy is that, right? So let's start with the present simple. Hmm. Dance. Pretty easy. She dances. Right? I dance, you dance, we dance, but she dances. It dances all night. It dances every chance it gets. But then what about yesterday? I mean, she dances all the time, but did she dance yesterday? Oh, yes, she danced yesterday. She sure did. Uh, but what about tomorrow? Well, absolutely. I think she also will dance tomorrow, too. Really? Hmm. Do you think she's going to dance tomorrow? Wait, going to? I didn't say will. That's a second way. There's two ways to say a future tense. One is will. Pretty easy. We'll dance, we'll run, we'll eat pizza, right? And the other one is she is going to dance. Ah ha ha! So, a couple of things to keep in mind here. First, is. We're going to change that. She is going to dance. I am going to dance. You are going to dance. So, we're going to change this verb to be depending on who is going to dance. You see? Now, the other thing to remember is between will and is going to generally means the same thing. But there actually is a slight difference in what it means between will dance and is going to dance. We'll talk about that in a lesson about future tense, but we're not going to talk about that right now. So let's see. That's a simple Simple past tense, simple present tense, simple future tense. Now let's get a little more complex. In fact, we're going to get a little continuous. Continuous. Generally speaking, continuous means it's a process that is going on. So a past, or excuse me, a present continuous, she dances all the time. Well, right about now, is she? She is dancing. Okay, so let's learn our first rule here. When it comes to a continuous tense, any continuous tense, let's learn the rhyme. Must have be and ing. The verb to be and ing, right? So remember your verb to be is going to change. She is dancing. I am dancing. You are dancing. But that's the verb to be and ing. The verb to be and ing. Good. Excellent. So, 
right now she is dancing, but what about yesterday? She was dancing. Ah, so you see the word dancing stays the same, but we change the verb to be. Today she is, yesterday she was dancing. There you go. Now let's do a little future tense. Okay, let's see here. Uh, tomorrow she will dance. Hmm. How about she will be? Remember the verb to be plus ing. She will be dancing. Ah, she will be dancing. To be an ing. Nice. Pretty easy. I think we got it. But you know what? If you want to speak perfect English, there are some things we have to perfect. So, this next one is called perfect. Right? Easy. Pretty cool. So, I've got to perfect my English by learning the perfect tense. Hmm. Present dances. She dances. She is dancing. And now let's talk about if she has this experience. Have you ever danced before? Yes, I have danced. Oh, so now we're seeing instead of the verb to be, right? To be, to be, to be. Oh, I forgot is going to. <clears throat> now, she will be dancing or she is going to be dancing. Right? Here you've got your be and ing. But will and is going to. That's your real thing. Okay? Is going to and will are the same thing. Will be going is going to be going, will be dancing, is going to be dancing. Here we go. So perfect, I have danced, she has danced, and what about past tense? Change have to past tense, had. Oh, she had danced many times by the time she began dancing this time. What about this, future tense? Hmm, we have to have the verb to have, Plus, plus this verb three. She will, will be, no, will have danced. She will have danced a hundred times by the end of this year. Well, okay, let's change will to going to. Remember, is going to or to be going to. So she hmm, will have danced. Hmm. She, oh, excuse me, is, remember, is going to, is going to have danced. Oh, she is going to have danced a hundred times by the end of this week. She dances a lot. Okay, now we've got a little thing going on. We've got past, present, future, simple, continuous, perfect. Let's make it a little more confusing, shall we? So, let's see. Perfect is not confusing enough. Let's do a little more like present perfect turns into present perfect continuous. Whoa! So, perfect and continuous in one verb tense. Perfect continuous together makes up perfect continuous. So what are the rules, remember? Let's say continuous is the verb to be and ing. But perfect is the verb to have, have, have. So we have to use to be and have. Oh my gosh. Let's start with present, perfect continuous. She dances, she is dancing, she has danced, even though I wrote have here. She has danced and she have been dancing. She has been dancing all night. She must be very tired. So here we have our rules. 
the verb to be plus ing, and it has the verb to have in there too. Man, that's crazy. Let's go to past tense. So let's see. She danced. She was dancing. Mm -hmm. Oh, she had danced, and she had been dancing. Man, that's the past perfect continuous. Now let's get wordy. Okay, let's begin to use a lot of words here. Let's talk about the future perfect continuous. Let's see. Will have dancing. She will dance. She will be dancing. She will have danced. And she will have been dancing. Will have been dancing. Oh, man. Shoo! By midnight, she will have been dancing for four hours. She is going to be quite tired. Okay, well, let's change will. Let's change will into is going to, remember? To be going to is the same as will. So let's see. She is going to dance. She is going to be dancing. She is going to have danced. And she is going to have been dancing but not in black, in fact, in blue. She is going to have been dancing. Woo! So that's one, two, three, four, five, six words for one verb. Seriously, that's one verb. She is going to have been dancing for three hours by midnight. She is going to be quite tired, I think. So here we have our verb tenses. Past, present, and future in simple, continuous, perfect, or perfect continuous. Now don't worry about what they mean. We have other lessons that will teach what they mean. Okay, so take a picture. And thank you so much.